In the early days of the new oil era, the UAE first started to realize its ambitions of growth and development, acting as a catalyst to inspire its citizens. Early on, in 1918, Emirati businessman Ali Abdullah Gurgash began his business in the small coastal town of Ajiman after losing his father in his teens. In search of opportunities, he eventually moved the growing company to Daira, in the heart of Dubai at the time. Today's Beni Yass Square, at the fringes of the burgeoning city, became home to the Gurgash family business. Over the years, Haj Ali, the group's founding figure, traveled worldwide to explore business opportunities, laying the foundations of the establishment and growth of the family business. The group's business prospered once it ventured into the supply of oil products, fueling seagoing vessels and aircraft out of a makeshift depot on Dubai Creek Banks in the 1940s. The Gurgash Group started its journey towards a lasting legacy in the automobile sector post-World War II with the reconditioning and sales of Bedford trucks, followed by the acquisition of the dealership for Mercedes-Benz. With the passing away of Ali Gurgash in 1983, the new chairman, Mohammed Abdul Khalid Gurgash, continued the journey of growth by developing the automotive business further and forming the group's real estate business. Both continued to prosper under the continued management and supervision of his sons, and in 1998, the group successfully entered the financial services business. Today, we speak to Shihab Gurgash, the current group MD and CEO of the Gurgash Group. He tells us more about his family. We trace back the uh beginnings of uh, Gergash as a family business to 1918 and a very young Ali Gergash who was my uh, grandfather uh, who really out of an effort and the passing of his father started very young uh, in business probably failed a couple of times and re uh, regathered his strength to uh, start all over again general trading was the order of the day. It was a small fishing, uh, a, st a start in a small fishing uh, town uh, up the coast from here, which is Ajman, where the uh, family uh, roots uh, go to. Gargash as a family has a, um, has a uh, unique perspective on business in uh, the UAE because of the age of the family business. Uh, having been established in 1918, we tend to be one of the older uh, existing businesses, uh, family businesses in the UAE. And it uh, gives us great pride to be able 100 years later to celebrate a uh, century of working in the UAE where most uh, other businesses are younger, uh, as good and big and successful as they are. But it has been extremely satisfying to grow with the UAE from very modest beginnings uh, into what the country has uh, uh, flourished to become. In the mid-1940s, after World War II, Shihab's grandfather, Ali Haji Abdullah Gurgash, began buying decommissioned Royal Air Force Bedford trucks and reconditioning them for sale and transport between Dubai and Muscat. Soon, the group was appointed to be the official representative of Bedford trucks in the region. The group's expertise with automotive products grew, and in 1958, it acquired the dealership for Mercedes-Benz. When the oil boom arrived in the 1970s, the business also boomed. Today, the conglomerate remains best known for its automotive division. The family business goes back to its uh, beginnings in Ajman, uh, in the UAE, uh, and later on moved out uh, to Dubai. But again, small cities or small towns that had everybody buying and selling everything, whether it be wood, spice, uh, you name it. Uh, I think the big 
uh, change came in two phases. Number one in working with uh, oil products in the early days, including fueling aircraft, and later on in the automobile uh, business, first started as buying excess uh, army trucks uh, after World War II, subsequently evolving into a, um, a automobile uh, business that we are best known for uh, today. Uh, with various brands throughout the years uh, and today again most uh, famously for the Gargash name is the representation of uh, Mercedes-Benz which we have been representing since 1958. Uh, today the business is a is made up of uh, three main line of lines of business. Uh, we work in automobiles which is what we're uh, most known for we work in real estate and we work in financial services. Uh, I hasten to add a fourth arm for a business, which is future uh, endeavors. And I really don't know what those future endeavors are. We consistently look at and evaluate new areas, but the environment is such today, new technologies, new opportunities, new demand pockets, dictate that we have to constantly reimagine what the future will look like and redefine the role a family business like us will play uh, into, uh, into the future. And this also comes with a changing environment in which we operate from a collection of small emirates when we first started to today, uh, the United Arab Emirates being one of the largest economies in the Middle East. The roots of Emirati family businesses are often entwined with the foundations of the nascent country that they grew within and alongside. Shihab shares how he believes the UAE contributed to the Gurgash Group's early success in particular and reflects on the company's origins. It is, I think, a story of very slow, deliberate, organic growth over the years. And it is a business that had very modest beginnings, just as the country had very modest beginnings. And there is no uh, glorious platform from which this business had started. But in fact, it just started on a lot of um, hard work, a lot of uh, trials and tribulations and a building on small successes in order to move on and to be able to uh, grow. Uh, as a family business also, we have been very fortunate to benefit from being in the UAE uh, because we have grown more or less along the growth path of the country as a whole. The city of Dubai, which had been a merchant city for uh, for all its existence, but even beyond the uh, early days, the oil boom that subsequently followed the formation of the Federation. Over the years, I believe the ability to grow within the UAE, uh, when we track the growth of the UAE pre-oil, post-oil formation of the Federation in 1971, the, um, the tangent on which the country has gone has also uh, enabled companies like ours to go along that same route as well. And we are fortunate and blessed to be in this kind of a bigger environment that enabled this kind of Growing up, Shehab, following in his grandfather's footsteps, cultivated a passion for business. From a young age, he was allowed within the company's environment and learned much from watching his family at work. To this day, he carries with him remarkable memories from his childhood. Oh, there are too many, too many to remember, but one distinct memory I have is my childhood of walking the back uh, storages of a much more modest business back then 
and playing with spare parts, playing with little trinkets, gadgets, and getting an appreciation of the business uh, firsthand as a child, not the complications or the uh, the uh, uh, choices to be made, obviously, but just being immersed in a business environment from my childhood, running those uh, corridors, dusty corridors full of all sorts of uh, little gadgets was extremely um, inspirational for me as a kid uh, and and made me appreciate uh, the uh, environment in which I uh, grew up in. Much like the UAE, Shihab also had modest beginnings. Despite his family owning a successful business, he did not start his career there. Instead, he spent 12 years working within the banking industry, initially with Citibank and later with Emirates Bank International, now known as Emirates NBD. Unusually, for Shihab accepting a role within the family business came at a later stage in life. This is uh, interesting because I started my career actually as a uh, banker. And I think the big step for me was changing from a uh, structured, employed status into a uh, free-spirited entrepreneurial uh, uh, approach. And that is a big leap for anybody. The conviction that entrepreneurship is more suited to me than not uh, is the big jump that uh, I had taken. And looking back at my career, I think that is a defining moment. And whether you succeed or fail uh, is going to have an impression on the uh, rest of your life thereafter. So the jump into entrepreneurship did not happen from the very beginning with me. It happened later on in my career. Uh, and that jump had all sorts of opportunities and risks associated with it. I think the Emirati vision and journey is a collection of small steps, small visions, small stories that each and every one of us in this business community contribute uh, two, uh, whether we have been here for a hundred years or started our business yesterday, whether we are national or expatriate, whether we are, uh, whether whether we have a new idea or are building on an existing one, uh, the persona of the UAE business environment is a collection and culmination of all the success stories that each one person contributes to in his or her uh, own way. Under its third generation of leadership, the Gurgash Group has introduced a number of other global automotive brands into the UAE, including Alfa Romeo, GAC Motor, and Sixt Rent-A-Car. In 2015, its subsidiary, Gurgash Motors and General Trading signed a deal with GAC Motor, a leading car maker from China, to become the exclusive distributor of GAC cars in the UAE. The partnership was an example of China's strong and growing relationship with UAE businesses. Starting in a disparate set of small, poor emirates, uh, moving on to the for formation, first of all, the oil oil beginnings, then the formation of the United Arab Emirates, and today's uh, emergence of the UAE as one of the largest economies in the region, those present uh, opportunities that, uh, that tell me that our future is going to look very, very different than what our present looks like, for the better. And therefore, I could just sit and be happy with the glorious achievements, be they what they be, or forever try to improve and try to better and try to better align the business with the environment in which it operates. So uh, the family business 
although a hundred years plus, uh, is a story of constant evolution. It's a story of constant change and adjustment and redefining what is the family business and indeed what is the family. The family as it is today is very different than what it was a hundred years ago when one entrepreneur started the uh, his business journey. Uh, going, uh, going into a unknown future uh, that is uh, bountiful with opportunity can only uh, spell uh, very, very uh, positive, uh, positive stories for us, but only if we recognize them and only if we are able to harvest them to the, uh, to the benefit. A leader should enable, uh, should not overwhelm. A leader should be able to spot trends, act on them, uh, motivate the team to, um, uh, to march forward. A leader should also be able to align views, vision, and interests. And a leader should also be able to uh, be a uh, communicator, whether internally to his team or externally to the um, people sitting at the other side of a table. A collection of all of that enables that leader to become an effective leader and thus uh, forge forward uh, with uh, the company he is entrusted with. Although it has created its niche within the world of automobiles, the group has also expanded its scope and branched out into sectors such as investment and real estate. In 1998, it established Damon Investments within the UAE's nascent financial services sector. In 2017, Shehab oversaw the culmination of a nine-year project to consolidate the family business creating a launch platform for the business as it entered its second century. The group then consolidated its various arms, including the complete acquisition of Gurgash Enterprises through a leveraged buyout. To mark its centennial year in 2018, the conglomerate completed a vigorous two-year corporate reorganization. With innovation at the forefront of business continuity, the Gurgash Group's new corporate structure defined its business interests across four verticals – automobiles, real estate, financial services, and future initiatives. Shehab recognizes the necessity to adapt and change to the present-day business environment and consumer needs. Family businesses, I think, is a misnomer that a family business is established and then uh, all things are constant. Family businesses, like all other businesses, are constantly in need of adaptation, of change, of redefinition. And we have seen throughout history in all countries of the world, family businesses rise and fall simply because those businesses had not, <clears throat> have not, um, uh, have not uh, recognized the necessity to change and have not changed that uh, mindset to fit the uh, changing environment around them. So nothing different in the UAE, family businesses that were established 50, 40, 30 years ago uh, cannot remain in their current form uh, into the future. The future dictates that uh, those family businesses have to evolve beyond what they look like today. The pandemic has uh, fallen upon us all like a ton of bricks uh, in all walks of life, uh, across all geographies. Uh, those who will come out of it will come out stronger. Now, what is the lesson to learn here? I think the pandemic sort of compressed a lifetime of learning within a very short period of time. And for me, the one 
uh, the one learning that is above all is the inevitability of change and the necessity to be able to adjust quickly and resolutely to that change and be able to modify the plans, adjust them or even scrap them completely and change them with a new way forward uh, based on a radically different assessment of the situation that was brought around by a radical event, which was the pandemic, a radical event that has altered everybody's uh, plans and way of life. The first thing you need to do when, get, when facing a crisis is assess, is assess the situation. Subsequently, you take whatever action is necessary. Too often we see us ourselves reacting before we've assessed the situation, we found out what has changed, we find out what the new rules of the game are. Um, uh, I think the example of the COVID pandemic has taught us all to let's first step back, very quickly assess what has changed, what is the new situation, and then make the decisions uh, necessary to be made. In 2021, the group started rolling out a digital transformation plan, under which it has launched GAC Motors' first e-commerce platform and the region's first e-commerce platform for Mercedes-Benz in the UAE market to make it easier for customers to connect and access all services from home while also being able to purchase their vehicles online. Innovation has one meaning and it has many at the same time different industries, different, different phases of the cycle of a company, a product, a person. Uh, but innovation is all about change. Innovation is about seeing where the trends are heading, what, what's new and how it impacts the need, how demand is changing, how supply is changing, and adapting to those changes. So uh, the, the, the word innovation is a catch-all, but it could mean many different things to many different situations. Outside of business, the group has made efforts to follow a customer-centric philosophy and ethically pursue its business objectives. Within its CSR mission, the group contributes to various social and charitable activities in sports, the arts, and the environment. According to Shehab, he is most fulfilled when he can instill change for the better. The family business places great value on giving back to the very community that embraces it. Businesses generally have a uh, responsibility towards the society in which they exist. That responsibility could be charitable, it could be human, race, uh, human resources supportive, uh, it could be advancement of technologies for the bigger good, it could take many, many different shapes. Uh, the enrichment of society is enabled by the contribution of business, each business in its own way, but the collective contribution of business makes the society a richer, more fulfilling environment in which everybody thrives. Um, I am most proud of the ability to be in a position where I can make a difference. Uh, if I am running a business for the sake of running a business, it is not fulfilling. Uh, if you're running a business to uh, instill change for the better, an enablement, a, an ability to influence in my own little way uh, for the better, I think that itself is a source of pride that enables me every day to be recharged as I go to uh, work. Today, Shehab has also embraced communications and technology, becoming a familiar face and popular voice on social media, sharing his thoughts and photos with his followers. From 1997 to 2008, Shehab also wrote a daily column in Al-Litihad with commentary on the stock market and local economy. 
Today, he tells us about his experience and the responsibility he feels towards his online community and his followers. Okay, uh, one fateful day, I discover Instagram and I think later on I was uh, hooked to it and it's interesting because it is a uh, a venting um, it is a venting uh, avenue for the frustrations of uh, daily life and the nice thing about Instagram is that you can on the go pick up whatever you see pick up a story real or imagined and share it with friends and share it with uh, followers and create a story around it, again, real or imagined. Uh, I'm lucky enough that I don't need to sell anything on my uh, Instagram feeds. I don't need to pitch anything. I don't need to, uh, I don't need to uh, find the next best thing. But what I do is I tell a story half real, half imagined as I go through life and it, it, it more than I'm, I'm glad people like it but more than that is I think it enables me to give myself a bit of a uh, fresh of a breath of fresh air uh, in what could be a very stuffy business environment so with social media we we project an image of what we think we are uh, or if we misproject that image people see us for what they think uh, we are it has a serious angle to it and a very uh, serious repercussions going forward of course this whole area is also new to everybody so where it ends up taking us as a society is anybody's guess. It's, it's, it's new, it's ever evolving, it's in its early stages and uh, we will learn more over the years. However, there is a responsibility, uh, there is a line not to be crossed like anything in life and there is the uh, morality, the decency, the, uh, the uh, seriousness of message even through a uh, even through a playful account uh, that needs to remain uh, presence in the presence of mind. Of course, the CEO also remains passionate about driving and keeps an enviable collection of classic cars. Uh, I like classic cars and I will tend to collect drivable classic cars uh, from time to time, but my daily dependable everyday drive is a Mercedes-Benz of one, one category or another. As our visit to the Medjlis of Shihab Gurgash comes to an end, we are reminded of the importance of preserving history and culture. The gate of the old Gurgash residence in Ajiman dates back to the late 19th century. Today, it adorns one of the family residences in Dubai. Shihab tells us his thoughts on how and why the historic Emirati Mejlis brings people together. The socialization, I think a Mejlis is a beautiful environment in which to exchange ideas. And some of those ideas may just come from casual chatter, casual dialogue. Uh, it's, uh, it enables a, um, an engagement, uh, a real engagement between people of different mindsets, mentalities, ages, and uh, you come out with, from all of that continual dialogue with a uh, strengthening of resolve, a strengthening of uh, the national uh, mindset. Uh, and that plays a big role at uh, providing a little bit of a social glue that brings people together and of course, business is does not exist in a void. Uh, in fact, business is part of our everyday. Business has uh, sent me all over the world in many, many places. And even before that, generally, I enjoy travel and I've had this uh, weird habit of collecting my boarding passes ever since I was uh, in school. Uh, and. 
while I traveled less then, but uh, and more uh, uh, as I got into business, uh, those boarding passes and hotel re uh, hotel key cards just piled up. And now today I have a collection that half the world thinks it's genius and the other half thinks it's absolutely uselessly stupid. <laughs>